Hi, I'm Fred Venturini, and I am the author of The Escape of Light, which is coming out this November from Turner Publishing, and I could not be more excited. But before I tell you about the book, I'd like to tell you a little bit about why I wrote the book. So, you know, I was burned when I was a kid. Uh, I like to say that I have 11 scars from 11 separate incidents. Uh, makes for a great story when I do an event at a, at a school or a conference or something. We always tend to go through them. Uh, and at those events, I have kids coming up to me, teenagers, and they're always like, you know, I get made fun of because I'm too fat or I'm too skinny or I'm too tall or I'm too short or I'm too different or I'm too much the same. How did you get through those days? And I never had a good answer for them. And part of the reason was I could go home and escape and be by myself and, and read a book or kind of recover. And now the smartphone follows you home and social media follows you home and you can just be relentlessly bullied. So I'm a fiction writer. I'm an author. I never wanted to write a memoir. I don't think my story particularly is all that interesting without the ups and downs that comes with a great story. So I made up the ups and downs. I took all of my pain and my scars and my experiences, and then I made some up and made it as dramatic and tough as possible for the main character of the novel, Wilder Tate. He enters this world where he is starting his freshman year and burns have disfigured him and his father has passed away and his mother works so many jobs he feels like you know he's living alone and uh, he just wants a normal life with a normal face that's all he wants so you know he expects more of the same he expects to get bullied he's, he's gone through it as a kid but incredibly he he's discovers a new best friend, he discovers a knack for basketball, which he loves, and he even catches the eye of the coolest girl in school. But of course, all that cannot last, because Wilder, because of his scars, because of a secret that he's holding, he is his own worst enemy a lot of the time. So he thinks that he can erase those scars with a bold and risky plan that could cost him everything. And, and that's where the drama of the story really starts because as the bullying starts to heat up, uh, there's a, another girl in the story named Lane McKenzie, and he is more than happy to let her take all of the heat. And uh, it's their connection that really forms the bond in the story. Uh, they both feel like that they're a, a black hole where no light can escape and no good things can happen. And uh, hint, hint, sometimes light does escape from the black hole. So that is my novel, The Escape of Light. And when I started this story, you know, I was, a burn victim and when I handed it to Wilder Tate and watched how he went through the story and how he came out the other side he is the one who really taught me what it means to be a burn survivor and now when I have those talks I'm much more equipped uh, to express how you can be resilient and just like every other hero in every other story when you get knocked down how do you not just get up but keep moving forward so I hope when November comes you get it you get the book and I don't want you to just get a book you know a book is like it's pages, it's paper with glue on the side and, and ink sprinkled on top. It's just a thing. I want you to have an adventure. I want you to have an experience, right? I want you to, uh, to go through this book and feel how much that I put into it. Like I gave this book everything that I had. So I want you to laugh. I want you to tear up. I want you to feel heartbreak. I want you to be angry and then I want you to be happy and I want you to cheer and I want you to have all those emotions. I want you to close the book and feel like it was worth your time and maybe even call up your Aunt Martha and be like, Aunt hey Martha, you gotta, you gotta check this book out. I need somebody to talk with about what just happened in this book, right? And that's the entire goal. Whenever you're telling a story is to connect with people and get them to share that story and have this collective experience uh, around these characters. And I can't wait for you and other readers to meet them, to meet Wilder and Jenna and Lane and Theo and Glenn this November when The Escape of Light is out. I will catch you in November. Take care.